Hi guys, Matt from pilotpracticeexams.com. So let me show you how to use the actual exams. What you want to do is come up here to the main menu and please learn to watch all these videos in two times speed. Use the gear icon down the bottom on the YouTube uh, toolbar. Now, in here we have the mobile version, which is a stripped down version of all the exams. Gets rid of all the text, just has the buttons and that's them there. Um, then we have all the various subjects that you might want to do. So let's, in this example, let's use the CASA PPL. So we'll click on that. That's going to, then going to take us to this CASA PPL page. Now, often they're going to take you directly to the section that you just clicked on. And in this case, let's do this free practice exam. So what's going to happen? The test is going to load. Here's the instructions, okay? But most of you won't need to read those because you're uh, watching this video. Now, here's the actual exam. So this one's got 16 questions. Here's the question. There's the responses. So what you do is just read the question, pick your response, okay? When you're happy with your response, press check. It will mark it green if you got it correct and red if you got it wrong. So let's just watch. Um, when we want to go to the next question, we can press next or we can just click there. Now, in this one, um, I'll just pick any one and eventually you'll see. Okay, so I picked that one, see the dot there? Um, there's the correct response. Okay, so the question was something about uh, carriage of infants in an aircraft. An infant can be carried in the arms of an adult passenger, providing a seatbelt is fastened around the adult passenger only. And then there's the relevant legislation. Now, I haven't got this for every single question, but I have it for probably around about 50% on the site. Okay, so then we go on to the next question. Now, let's say this question is too hard for us and we want to come back. What we do is we mark it review. Okay, then we go on to the next question. We select our response, we go check, got it right. Okay, you can have a read. But you don't need to focus too much on this right now. What you want to do is work your way through as if you're doing an exam. And then what we would do, um, let's just go review. And let's say I want to skip a few. I can just press skip, skip, skip. Okay. And eventually you get to the last question and we answer it and we go check. Okay. Now up now up box this button called quiz summary. And if I press that quiz summary, which is there, or it's all the time over there, that will then bring up this. Okay. And this tells you that I answered those two. Mark that one for review. Skipped all these. Answered that one. Okay. Once I had pressed that quiz summary, there's no going back. Okay, so then I press finish quiz. Now, two scores come up that are important. This one here, you want to pretty much ignore because if people do what I just did then, then they're lowering the average. Okay, so it's not going to be deadly accurate. This one here is the really important one, your score. Okay, because you want to record your scores. Whenever you do a complete exam, you want to record your scores. If you do an incomplete exam, so if, say in this case, um, I did, I think from memory, I think it was four questions. I would want to make a note that I got 12.5%, but I did four of 16 questions. So in other words, the important thing is here is what percentage did I get right and wrong? And that's what you want to record, okay? Um, because we want to track how we're going and, and see how we go over time. And then we also want to record um, which questions we got wrong. Now, there's a whole other video on exactly how to do that, and you should watch that. That is very, very powerful, and that is going to massively reduce your time and make you more efficient. Then here's where we get to see our KDRs. We press view question. I pops this summary again. Uh, a super powerful thing is listed down the page below this is all the questions that um and it has the the correct response and the incorrect response and if we skipped it like this one see there's no dot in it it just shows that there's the correct response and you skip this question okay so then what we do is we record all these red ones in our uh, record book which is our 128 page exercise book that i show you to use and we go to the textbook and we write down what page they're on and we end up with this um manual basically of where our problems are and this quick find reference for where all our problems are because we will keep repeating the same problems so that's how you go through an exam that's how you get your kdrs um, now, that's only half of the equation. The part, we know that practice exams are very, very powerful. All the research tells you that they are super powerful. But the other part that unlocks the power, helps you unlock the power of them is all these how to study videos. Okay, So over on the how to study page from the main menu, I've put together, I think there's around about probably 20 videos in here now. And they're all very, very quick. I've, I've reshot them so they're much faster to watch. Um, so how to study, you know, um, the, the mentality that you need when you study. It's a race against time. That one's critical that you watch that. Three ways to use this site. How to record it. That's the one I was just talking about. This one here speaks about exam cycles. Um, this one here is your exam triggers to get you in study mode so that you're ready to absorb the information. 